everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for tonight's look, we are doing a completely bronzed out smoky eye. I wanted to create this sun goddess lit from within look. I really wanted to focus on makeup that would complement the inevitable sweat that I will likely be feeling later on tonight being that it is well above 100 degrees and I will probably be hitting the dance floor. So I wanted to create a look that's a little bit smudged, a little bit out of place, something that won't look like it completely fell off my face. Ooh, it's a rhyme. <laughs> um, so I want to create a look for you guys that will inspire you for the midst of summer to embrace the heat. So continue watching uh, to learn how I created this bronzy, What's another adjective for bronzy? Bronzy. Coppery. Well, we have two. Bronzy, coppery look. So continue watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed my video. Leave any comments for tips and tricks that you have for me or anything you would love for me to try next time. And follow me on Instagram to be the first in the know of what I have coming up next. So the first thing I want to do is hydrate my skin. So I'm actually trying the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel by Drunk Elephant. It's my first time using it and I had just gone to Sephora and talked to a gal in the skin department telling her that my skin felt like it had been windburned and that the texture was just feeling a little bit off, kind of grainy. And she said that this hydrator can be worn alone, or she even said you could mix your go-to facial oil with it. Of course, she recommended the one that is by Drunk Elephant, but because I already have a few in my cabinet, I would like to use them up before going ahead and purchasing a new one. But I am really excited to see the results of this and how it can transform my skin. I've just really have not been loving the way it's been feeling lately. It almost feels grainy in a way. So far so good. I really do love the way that it's feeling. It does apply like a water-based moisturizer. She also mentioned that it would be great to use in the morning underneath my Bocha Cactus Water hydrating cream that I have talked about before in previous videos. So now I'm going to go through and put in another drunk elephant gem that i've been seeing a lot of on instagram and sephora's website it's the uh, i'm gonna butcher this but it's the umbra 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 tint physical daily defense it's an spf 30 but ultimately it has a really beautiful iridescent gold finish to it and that's kind of what sold me on the product i will go ahead and show you i'm just gonna use that's probably way too much but i'm just gonna use a little dab of this on my skin just to give it a nice sheen. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do for my priming for tonight's look. Now I am going to switch up my typical foundation from the Yves Saint Laurent, and I'm trying the Too Faced Born This Way Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. I read online that it says it has a bit of an iridescent look to it, so I am kind of excited to find out if that holds true. I did get matched for the shade Nude. I'm going to just go and put a few pumps of this into the palm of my hand. I'll probably start out with two and then go from there not to waste any product. And then I did get a brand new beauty blender. It's an official beauty blender brand. It's my first and I'm actually really excited to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and spray it with the Tarte. It's called Ready, Set, Radiant Skin Mist. I've used it before to wet any kind of brush. It smells like cucumbers, if you ask me, which is why I really love it. But I'm gonna go through and just, <coughs> it does not taste like cucumbers, don't taste it. I'm gonna go through and wet it and then just dab it into my hand. And then just kind of go into my face.
Okay, and I do actually quite enjoy the finish that this has provided me with. It does feel a little bit more natural than the Yves Saint Laurent. I don't know if I would say that it's quite full coverage. I would say it's definitely more on the end of medium coverage for anyone who's looking for that full coverage foundation. I don't know if this is your product, but it does give a very, like I said, natural, clean finish that I'm really happy with, especially being that it's so warm out. I wanna keep my makeup popping, but I don't wanna keep it from melting. Popping, do people still say popping? I feel like I've never said that until right now and it just like does not feel right coming off of my tongue. Probably gonna leave that one for you guys. So this go around, I am gonna try a different technique. Typically I'll do my under eyes prior to doing my foundation, but I do often see other makeup artists who do it after. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm certainly open to constructive criticism but I'm gonna try it so I'm gonna go through with my uh, my naked skin color correcting fluid but I'm going to go through and then just I think just lightly actually kind of do some lines underneath my eye I don't want to do like a really heavy triangle like I've done in the past but essentially I just want to conceal my dark circles a little bit and then again with my beauty blender I'm gonna go through and just blend that in now I'm going to go through with my concealer. It's the Naked Skin by Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in medium, light, neutral. So there's something new that I've been seeing as far as applying your concealer goes that I wanna try. Instead of going underneath your eye and doing that full triangle method that I've talked about, lately I've been noticing that MUAs are going down and then they're kind of just spreading it out and they pointed out how you know your liquid concealer it's liquid and liquid spreads so you don't necessarily have to add so much product to your face because you can blend it out and that's the entire purpose so we're going to give that a try and I'm going to wet my beauty blender with my Tarte Spray one more time with my mouth closed. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's still in the air, you guys. Woo, okay. All right, so I can't say for certain whether or not that made a difference by doing my concealer after, but it's something new to try. So now I want to go through with my Cover FX Pressed Mineral Foundation in G40. So I'll go through with my It Cosmetics brush in number 114 and like I've shown you in previous tutorials I'll go through and I will just swirl that in there and then just do a sweep over my face. I might do a little bit of a heavier coverage with my powder because like I said, it is a warm out and I want my face to sustain for at least half the night. And just a reminder, always blend down into your neck, even your decollage and or your ears if you feel like that's something that you might be afraid of not blending through or depending on how light or dark you go with your concealer or your foundation. Okay, so next up we are going to uh, head into our eyes. So uh, I'm going to begin with my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. It's just simply a white eyeshadow base, I guess. And while we're letting that set, I'm gonna go through and brush through my eyebrows. I have an eyebrow brush by MAC Cosmetics. It's in number 204. And here's a little trick that I have been told in the past. So I'm going to go through with a can of hairspray and then actually spray my brush. And then go through and then comb through my eyebrow hairs to give them a little bit of structure. Okay, so now I want to go through and finish priming my eyelids with my True and Trusty Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC Cosmetics. So I'm gonna go through with my ring finger and dab that onto my eyelids. 
I actually once heard that you are supposed to use your ring finger when you're dealing with anything that comes to delicate skin such as your eyelids or your under eye area because your ring finger is actually the weakest finger on your hand. So I was at a makeup party one time and a gal had suggested that we all put our hands on the table and try to lift our ring finger and a lot of the women who were there weren't able to do it and the few who were able to do it such as myself had that strength built up in their finger because we are piano players so it's something interesting and kind of fun to try even at home or on your own so now i want to go through and fill in my eyebrows right now i'm using the deep dark brunette fluid line brow gel cream it's actually quite dark. It's honestly probably even a little bit too dark for me, even though I like a dark brow. But I have it and I'm going to use it. So I have this little tiny cute brush that I'm going to just gently dab into it. It's a product you really want to be careful with because it's like, it's almost like a tattoo for your eyebrows. When you have this stuff on, it can last days. I really don't think it even comes off unless you take makeup remover and actually get after it, but it's perfect for a night out when you know that you'll be sweating or dancing. So I'm going to go through and then just shape in my eyebrows. I've already gone through with one of my eyebrow pencils and given it some shape so I don't go too crazy with this gel. And you just use light, gentle, soft strokes. When it comes to shaping the arch of my brow, I use the flatter side of the brush and I just go up and down. And then I just go through and then blend that out so I don't get that obnoxious blocked eyebrow. Okay, so right now I am comfortable with where my eyebrows are at, so I'm going to leave them with my MAC Liquid Brow Gel Cream. And then move on to my eyeshadow. So something that I am actually really excited to try out. I was at the KKW Beauty pop-up shop in Los Angeles this past weekend. And I had purchased one of her cream eyeshadow sticks. The color, I don't know how to say it, you guys. I'm not going to say it. I know I can't say it. But the color is this coppery tone. I'll go ahead and show you on my wrist almost like a burnt orange in a way but I'm gonna use that as the base and then see how much color I can get away with by using this and then possibly go through and even dust some powder shadow over it to give the look even more depth so I'm just gonna go through directly with the pencil and essentially just cover my eyelid go through now with my finger and then just kind of rub this in and see what kind of smudge proof capabilities we have with it. I am finding it's a little hard to blend out but that could be because we have that painterly pot underneath but it's certainly not untouchable. I mean it is blending evenly into my eyelid crease so it doesn't look like too harsh of a line if you were to want to wear this alone I think you could definitely get away with it but for me I do want a little more depth and drama for my look tonight so I'm gonna go through it with my Urban Decay palette in heat go ahead and show you the front this palette is an absolute gem to have in your beauty arsenal. The colors are so stunning and do not do any justice on camera, but definitely a must have in my opinion. So I wanna go through, I think, and start with the crease of my eyelid and buff that in with the color called Dirty Talk. I'll try to show you the best I can. The palette is so large, but this is Dirty Talk. So I'm going to go through with my 
crease brush by Morphe brushes and then I'm just going to lightly dab this color onto my brush. I never want to get too heavy, especially with the crease. Remember the crease is not the main focal point of the look, it's your lid. So start slow, build. So we're definitely getting some real drama so far with our color choice. And I'm going to go in now with a color that's quite similar to the one we used by KKW Beauty. And because I am too embarrassed to pronounce the name wrongly on camera, I will link that below and be sure to give her credit for the name of that product. But I do want to go over it with the color called Scorched. So I'm just going to dip more of a flat ended brush by Morphe Cosmetics and I'm just going to kind of engulf either side of that brush with our scorch color and then go in and then dab that starting at the outer corner of our eyelid and then working our way in. And as you can see I just kind of use like an up and down motion. To me I feel like I'm pressing that pigment into my eyelid versus dispersing it like we do when we tackle the crease. And I do want to go into the inner corner of my eyelid and do a lighter, more bronze color. Typically I'll do a very soft, light, almost light, almost close to our color ounce. However, I'm going to try something a little bit different. I really want this look to be completely bronzed, absolutely sun goddess level. So I think I'm going to try the color called Lumbre. I'm going to go through and then really submerse my MAC 239S brush into that. So you can definitely tell it's a very smoked out, bronzed eye, but I feel like with this look I don't necessarily want to go through and do that cut that we've done in the past with eyeshadow. I actually kind of want to just take a fluffy brush and go through and just kind of in a way buff it out. I want to buff out any harsh lines that I may have had. I'll just go through and then kind of you know blend in I just don't want anything to look too harsh so I'm super happy with how that turned out so now I'm just going to go through and finish up the upper eye with my uh, this never comes this lid never comes off it's the Marc Jacobs eyeliner pencil I don't know why come on Got it. And then I'm going to go over that with my NARS eyeliner pen, is what I like to call it. Okay, so that is finito for our upper eyelid. So now I want to go through and actually I think I'm going to put away the Marc Jacobs eyeliner in black for right now. And then I want to go through with I think a brown, almost copper toned eyeliner instead. I'm going to go through with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Bourbon. It's like a brown, coppery tone. It'd probably even be best just to show you on my hand. So I'm going to go through and then just 
do my lower lash line, keeping in mind not to use too heavy of a hand because we will buff that out. I might even go a little bit lower than normal with it because I am wanting to create essentially a smoky eye just with a bronzed finish. And the truth is, I feel like my makeup will run a little bit tonight anyway, so I might as well make it look like that was the entire idea. So I'm going to go through with my Bare Minerals Smoky Smudger Brush and then just smudge that until I feel like I have the amount of drama I want. I do want to go through with my eyeshadow palette as always and do some color underneath my lower lash line that I incorporated into my overall eyeshadow look. I think I'm going to go through with the color that we had used on our crease. It's the color Dirty Talk. So I'm going to go through with this nice flat angular brush and just gently load up either side and then brush that underneath to make the look a little bit more cohesive. So I want to go through with a fluffier brush and just kind of buff that out even more. The more effortless we can make the look, the better. Almost even tying it up to a little bit of where we had buffed that out on our outer corner. I feel like it's just very sexy and very updated and modern to the typical blacked out smoky eye. It's very fitting for the midst of summer. So I'm just going to go through and then coat my lower lashes in some black mascara and call my eye look a day. So next up we are going to move on to our contour. So I am going to go through with my Smashbox Trio and start by doing my cheeks. I will do a bridge of my nose underneath and then just go through with my Beauty Blender using the most narrow side and blending in that contour on the bridge of my nose. And you have to remember everyone's nose is different. It depends what you're trying to achieve. If you uh, want to slim the bridge of your nose, this is typically the placement that you would apply your contour. It gives the illusion of two shadows on either side. And then when you go underneath, it creates a shadow and a look of depth that gives you more of a perched tip of your nose. And then I'll go through with my rounder side and then just buff in the contour that we have going on my cheekbones. Okay, so our next step is going to be baking. Baking our face. I'm using another KKW Beauty product. It is her baking powder. I opted for the lightest shade because I really want my skin to have that highlighted effect. Although I am typically relatively fair so she does offer I believe three different shades of powder to uh, choose from depending on your skin tone what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to get the plastic off of the sealed uh, packaging but a the lip doesn't go up very high and B, I cut off all of my fingernails so I have close to nothing to work with here. <sighs> okay, how can I get creative and get this off? Come on, seriously? I feel like I need, I'm gonna call my mom. Mom! This is bullshit. Please enjoy this Verizon ring back on while your party is reached. Yes? Can you bring me a tweezer? Okay, right there. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <sighs> on her way.
Yeah. And once again, my mom has come in clutch. Ooh, did you hear that? That's the sound of plastic. Ta-da! I'm gonna use my old school beauty blender that's dirty as shit and really just load that into it, that product, and then go through starting down here and just pressing that into my skin. Am I pretty yet? So I'm going to go through now with my fluffy brush, whatever fluffy brush you have works, and then just lightly dab the powder away, leaving, as you can see, a really beautiful light iridescent finish. Okay, so now you can see how we have a little more of a chiseled, defined line going through our cheekbone. But I do want to go through with one of Becca's new release bronzers. It is the Sunrise Waves Bronzer. I'm going to go through with my MAC 100 brush and then just swirl that all the way through it and then go over those areas that we had previously contoured with our stick. Now I want to just dab some blush on my cheekbones. I'm going to use the MAC Powder Blush in Melba. It's one of my favorite go-to blushes when I can make up my mind. And I always get compliments when I wear it. I feel like it's really compliment- Ooh. I feel like it's really complimentary to a lot of different skin tones. I'm just gonna go through with my blush brush and then swipe along my cheekbones to give my face some flush. So next step, I do want to go through and highlight the top of my cheekbones. I'm using the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. The color I'm using is called Sunlight. These drops I would definitely advise to use with discretion. They are very pigmented. I would start out with just a couple of drops in your hand. They almost have a metallic sheen to it. And then I'm going to go through with the flat end of one of my blenders and kind of just coat that in there. And then like I have talked about before, I'm going to just kind of lightly sponge paint the top of my cheekbones. It's buildable, so keep that in mind. I might even go through with my blender and then blend that in a different beauty blender just to eliminate any accidental powder usage and then i'm gonna go through and just kind of swipe it to get even more of that metallic iridescent effect i'll do a little bit down the bridge of my nose with what i have left over and you can already see what a beautiful glow that just gave us and it was literally two drops a little bit goes such a long way with that product so after applying our dew drops, I'm going to go through with a new purchase of mine. It's by Kylie Cosmetics. It's her Tahiti Loose Powder. I'm going to try to gently show you the color. It's a soft iridescent pink. 
I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna try this brush I found in my drawer. It's by Sephora, it's number 55. It's called the Pro Airbrush. And I'm going to very lightly just dip some of that color into her packaging and then blow off any excess. And then go through and just very lightly sweep that on the top of my cheekbones. So right now I'm going to go through and spray my face with the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus setting spray and I'm using the gold light version. So I'm going to go through and then shake that up and spray my face with the hopes that my makeup will stay through the night ahead. I'm not gonna lie, it does kind of smell like a men's cologne, but I actually really love that about this product. And it really does do a great job at holding your makeup for the night. So now I'm going to move on to my lips. I had purchased a new product by Hourglass Cosmetic. It's called I've Never, and then fill in the blank. And it's part of the confessions line, was what I'm told. But it's just like a very nude coral, if that makes sense. It's a nude with a coral undertone. But I'm going to go ahead and apply that. It goes on super creamy and I was told that it's a weighted pencil or a weighted lipstick is what they're calling it and that when you run out of the color you just go to Sephora and they will order a brand new one for you so it's refillable. And to give my lips a little bit more solidification I want to go through with the lip liner by Urban Decay in the color Naked. It's definitely a go-to in my drawer and then just line my lips and even go a little bit outside of their normal shape just to really give me that pouty look. And then now I'm going to do a gloss over by the KKW Beauty Super Nude Gloss. And that's it you guys. That is our updated Sun Goddess Beachy bronzy lit from within look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I will continue to create weekly content for you guys to be in the know on what looks I'm creating. Be sure to follow me on Instagram for even more makeup and beauty inspiration and I'll see you guys next time.